हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम ऑन पंपिंग लेमा तो क्वेश्चन ओवर हियर सेज शो दैट द लैंग्वेज एल इज इक्वल टू ए रेस टू एन बी रेस टू एन एंड ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू वन इज नॉट रेगुलर सो एज आई टोल्ड यू फ्रेंड्स अर्लियर पंपिंग लेमा इज अ थियरी और अ काइंड ऑफ थियरम विच इज यूज टू प्रूव दैट अ लैंग्वेज इज नॉट रेगुलर सो अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग इज गोइंग टू बी परफॉर्म विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ काइंड ऑफ हाइपोथिस अज्यूमिंग दैट द लैंग्वेज इज रेगुलर एंड एट द एंड वी आर गोइंग टू कम अक्रॉस सर्टन कंडीशन विच आर गोइंग टू से दैट वी डू नॉट फाइंड द लैंग्वेज रेगुलर एंड देर फोर वी रिजेक्ट द हाइपोथिस एंड कंक्लूड दैट द लैंग्वेज इज नॉट रेगुलर सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद द प्रॉब्लम एंड द स्टेप्स ऑफ हाउ टू सॉल्व इट सो फ्रेंड्स कंसिडरिंग दिस प्रॉब्लम शो दैट L is equal to a raised to n, b raised to n, n greater than equal to one is not regular. We write to solve this problem. These are going to be the standard steps that you are going to write for each and every problem. So the first problem will be solved in detail as I always do, and the rest of the problem are going to be only the main part which I'll be solving for you. So going ahead, I say how to solve this problem. Let us assume. that my language l is regular so as i told you we are considering a hypothesis over here further since the language is regular i say it is accepted by a finite automata with n number of states right now friends the problem over here is a raised to n b raised to n so if i count how many or what is going to be the length of the input the length of the input could be n number of a's and n number of b's so that is going to be n a's plus n b's that is n plus n that comes out to 2n and that is the value of w so we write let w be a string accepted by the machine accepted by the machine and therefore we say mod of w is greater than is equal to 2n that is length of w should be at least greater than is equal to 2n and from where did we get the 2n that is a raised to n b raised to n n number of a's and n number of b's so then we write here as we don't draw dfa therefore we take pumping length as n therefore i say my pumping length over here is going to be is equal to n further now friends these are the standard steps that you have to write as i told you it is a mathematical proof some things you have to take it as it is the main part which comes is going to be what we will be discussing so we have over here my w can be written as as i told you as per the definition my w can be written as x y z where x can be represented by a raised to s where s is greater than equal to 0 my y can be represented by a raised to r where r has to be greater than 0 it's not greater than equal to 0 r is greater than 0 and my z represents 
remaining portion okay so what i mean to say by that over here we know that the input is a raised to n b raised to n what i say if I'm considering n's value as 4, that turns out to be 4 number of a's followed by 4 number of b's, right? So now what it says, if this is the entire w that we are talking of, we have to break this into three parts and breaking of these three parts is always going to be the way which I am telling you. What is the way going to be? They say from this w, you take out x such that x is some number of a's where those some number of a's should be greater than equal to zero so i can consider x as epsilon or i can consider x as single a or two a's or three a's but i have to consider x as some number of a's where those number of a's could be zero or more than that so as of now i'm considering x as a single a then it says next part is going to be y where y is represented by a raised to r where r has to be compulsorily greater than zero so over here i can consider y as minimum one number of a's so y could be one number of a's or y could be two number of a's that is your choice but x could be epsilon and after that whatever part is remaining will be considered as z so what i mean to say over here is if the string is a raised to n b raised to n what have we done over here is we have taken out s number of a's initially where s value is equal to 1 in our case but it can be equal to 0 also then we have taken out r number of a's where r is compulsorily greater than 0 so this was my x this was my y and the remaining part what is going to be the remaining part the remaining part over here consists of z which is single a and 4 b's how do we get that the z part over here is my b raised to n and among this a raised to n from this a raised to n i have taken out s number of a's and r number of a's out therefore what is left with me is a raised to n minus s minus r right so mathematically we have converted this to a generic format where a raised to n is now divided into three parts a raised to s a raised to r a raised to n minus s minus r b raised to n where the first part is x second part is y and third part is z so that is going to be the standard way of dividing a string into three different parts as w equal to x y and z respectively fair enough okay mod of y is not equal to epsilon condition is satisfied why is it satisfied as r's value is greater than zero you can see over here what is y y is nothing but a raised to r what is mod of y mod of r y would be at least one single a because r's value is greater than 0. So that is also getting satisfied. That was the second condition in the pumping lemma's definition. Next. Mod of xy less than is equal to n condition is also satisfied. Yes. If you consider mod of xy, so mod of xy would be a raised to s a raised to r so it is going to consist of few number of a's of the entire a raised to n b raised to n so it is quite commonsensical that it is lesser than n okay not even lesser than 2n it is lesser than n because among the n we have taken out s and r number of a's outside which are of course lesser than n therefore mod xy less than n 
is condition also satisfied further now starts the main part of the problem so here we start the main part what do we write so we write now we are going to check x y raised to i and z okay so now if we consider i is equal to 0 okay you remember what was x y raised to i z let me write it for you once again it is a raised to s a raised to r a raised to n minus s minus r b raised to n where this was my x this was my y and this entire part was my z so if i consider i equal to zero the string which i get over here is x y raised to i would be converted to x z because y raised to zero is nothing but one and we are going to skip that x z so if i look at x z what i get over here from this particular string is a raised to s and a raised to n minus s minus r b raised to n and over here what do we conclude we conclude over here that the string was of the form a raised to n b raised to n but are we able to get n number of a's followed by n number of b's no because r number of a's are outside and r is greater than zero so therefore over here we say that number of a's are less than number of b's further going ahead I'm going to check now for i is equal to 1. If i is equal to 1, my x y raised to i z is going to become x y z, which is going to tell me a raised to s, a raised to r, a raised to n minus s minus r, b raised to n, entire thing will be coming as it is. And now over here, when I say, what is going to be the final answer for this that is going to be a raised to n and b raised to n so therefore over here we say that number of a's are same as number of b's so for i is equal to 1 i see that number of a's are equal to number of b's but the scenario was not the same for i equal to 0 let's try for i is equal to 2 also if i am trying for i is equal to 2 what i get is x y square z so that is going to give me a raised to s in place of x for y square that is going to be a raised to r into a raised to r and z will be a raised to n minus s minus r into b raised to n that gives me a raised to s a raised to 2r a raised to n minus s minus r b raised to n which further gives me a raised to n plus r into b raised to n and now over here we see that number of a's are more than number of b's right so from i is equal to 0 i is equal to 1 and i is equal to 2 we conclude the following so we say so my xz does not belong to the language my xy square z also does not belong to the language hence by contradiction we can say that the given language the given language that is a raised to n b raised to n n greater than equal to 1 is not regular 
and this is what we have proved by using pumping lemma. So friends, let us have a quick revision of the problem. So the problem consists of some standard number of steps where initially we write let us assume that L is regular, it is accepted by finite automata with n number of states. That's going to be always the same. Going ahead, let W be a string accepted by the machine. This also line is going to remain the same throughout. What is going to change over here is mod W greater than is equal to 2n. From where did we come across this 2n? This 2n came from A raised to n, B raised to n. That is counting the number of A's and counting the number of B's. N number of A's and N number of B's. Therefore, 2n. Further, the next line also remains the same here as we don't draw DFA we use the pumping length and n and p is equal to n. So everything is going to remain the same in all of the problems that we are going to solve ahead. Next the entire thing that you see over here w can be written as x y z where x is a raised to s where s is greater than or equal to 0 y is a raised to r where r is greater than 0 and z is the remaining part of the string and it is further a raised to s a raised to r a raised to n minus s minus r b raised to n again remains the same okay next mod of y not equal to epsilon condition is satisfied remains the same mod of xy less than equal to n condition also gets satisfied so these things are going to be constant so till now whatever we have discussed up to this particular point will be constant other than mod w less than equal to 2n further now the next part which is written in different colored ink is going to change i have to always check for i is equal to 0 i is equal to 1 and i is equal to 2 and 100% of the times for i is equal to 0 and i is equal to 2 the condition is going to reject the language and i is equal to 1 it is going to accept it and therefore by contradiction we are going to say that the language is not regular. So we see over here for i is equal to 0 we got xz and the number of a's are lesser than the number of b's. For i is equal to 1 we got xyz and we found the number of a's are equal to the number of b's. And for i is equal to 2, we found out x, y square, z, where the number of the a's outnumbered the number of b's. And therefore, this part which we have written again remains the same that so x, z belongs, does not belong to L and x, y square, z does not belong to L. And therefore, by contradiction, we say that the given language a raised to n, b raised to n is not regular. As simple as that. So these are the standard steps which are always going to repeat again and again in all the problems of pumping lemma. So with this we finish up this problem. See you in the next problem. Thank you.